Hi guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So, um, it's been a few weeks since I posted an update video and I thought that uh, I would. Uh, as you know, I've been working on this uh, kitchen dining room remodel. Got to get it done and it sort of has taken life over. And it started as a, uh, you know, hey, let's put a couple lights out on the uh, either side of the sliding door out onto our deck and, and life would be good. And it just grew out of hand into what I uh, kind of jokingly call the money pit. If you've never seen the movie, um, maybe that doesn't make any sense, but if you have, you know everything is just two weeks out, everything. So uh, the last time, um, I think we were torn down to studs still in the kitchen portion. The drywall had been hung but not finished in the dining room area. I believe that I had the water and electrical rough-ins done, and I may have hung a, some sheets of uh, drywall on the back wall. Not sure if I had the inset lighting done on the last video or not, um, but I may have may have sh uh, put a picture of it or something up there. So since then, um, all the drywall has been completed, and I'll uh, I'll show you around, and hopefully it won't make you too dizzy or too sick with the camera movement. Uh, it's the drywall has been finished, uh, sanded, primed, spot checked, and painted. So uh, now wherever you see white is just primer, but that area be covered up with um, cabinets and and tile backsplash. So there's no need to paint it. Other than around this window, you know, I had to had to do around that because some of that is exposed. Um, the cabinets, as you can see, have come in. Um, now that the, I got a couple gentlemen that's going to help me install them. Great, great kids are friends of the family, the Davis boys. I'll not mention their first names. I don't know that they uh, want to be talked about on YouTube. Uh, but now when the cameras, I, I ordered these uh, cameras, the cabinets, I ordered from Lowe's. Um, they said typically three to five weeks. I guess because of the virus or whatever, things are slowed down a little bit. It took closer to nine weeks to get the cabinets. And um, uh, there was shipper damage and a couple of defects probably from the factory. So Lowe's has uh, placed a, a rush order on the repair parts, but I cannot hang any cabinets until I get those, um, until I get those uh, cabinets and, and doors and some stuff that needs to be fixed. So that's kind of where I'm at. I have ordered uh, a door for the basement I think I talked about. I did finally get it. I'll show it to you. It's a 15 light uh, door. I'm hoping that the afternoon sun then can be cast down into the basement a little bit to get a little more natural light down there. And I have bought the flooring. Um, I'll show that to you. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. The ceiling, you know, all my patches in the ceiling, the lights are in, the ceiling's been painted. Um, I still, uh, my wife has finally figured out what uh, crown she wants, what baseboard casing. Uh, we still have to buy plenty of that. I don't know how much crown until the cabinets go in um, because I'll, we'll go ahead and flow the, uh, the crown around the cabinets too. Um, I think that's about it. So hey look, I'm gonna, uh, I'll pick up the camera and I'll show you um, around. Uh, it's, it's pretty crowded in here as you can see. I'm just kind of sort of standing in a hole <laughs> in a space that's uh, left. Um, but I'll pick up the camera and show you around what I've done and the arches that I've built and how they turn out and, and, and that sort of stuff. And I will follow up with a slideshow like I did in the previous two videos. So look, guys, um, if you enjoy this sort of content, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing. And um, if not, I mean, I, I understand this is not really what my channel is about, but it's one of those things that I have to get it done. And, and I do wholeheartedly appreciate all your patience and your support and everything that you guys have given me over the last two or three years. You are amazing. So that's all I can say about that. All right. So um, I'm going to pick up the camera and we'll look around. I'll do a slideshow. And you know, it's, um, it's a, been a weird year, right? But uh, we're, we're going to keep on keeping on and uh, we'll just keep at it. So other than that, have a blessed day. So I thought instead of holding the camera and moving it around, maybe I'd just keep it on the tripod and just reposition it. So the first thing we're looking at here is uh, in the corner of the kitchen, there used to be a uh, pantry here. And if you recall, if you look see that from the earlier videos, I had to remove a big chunk of ceiling um, from the corner and put in a patch. And so you can see that there turned out pretty good. Um, and then 
you can just see the wire coming out of the wall. The wire coming out of the wall will actually go into a zip box inside a cabinet and that particular one you're seeing there will be for uh, to power under counter lights. Um, some pucks that'll get um, put up under there. So I'm going to swing around here hopefully and move to the center of the kitchen. So that wire that you see hanging out there will be inside of a cabinet and will power the under uh, the under cabinet microwave. And you guys have seen those. And then I'm just going to pan over here to the left a little bit more to this corner and then again you see the wire sticking out of the wall <clears throat> is uh, for the under counter lights for the other side. So all the wiring is done. Um, if you look next to the window you see the two switches. One is the light above the window. The other one will go to the uh, garbage disposal. You see the thin white wire next to that. That's actually Ethernet. And then there's another receptacle at the end that has uh, USB uh, ports on it. And then similar setup on the other side, you know, where I have USB ports and Ethernet because, uh, I, you know, just why not? My house is mostly wired for it and, and uh, might as well continue the process. So let me reposition the camera and I'll show you a little more. Okay, so we're standing in the middle of the kitchen and we're looking back into the dining room. You can see that the walls are painted, all the drywall is done, you see cabinets piled up. To the left you see the hallway, uh, the arch is made. Now this side, or the room facing side of the arch is all done. I do have a little bit of work to do on the inside of the arches and some work to do on the other side of the arches, but I probably won't mess with those until um, you know, I start in the hallway and start in the living room and then just finish them up then. Uh, you see plenty more cabinets. Um, there's a trim that's still got to be purchased and put in. But, you know, you guys, uh, please don't make fun of my horrible paint job here. Let me see if I can pan over here and get this door. Try that right there. So, you see um, the arch here to the far left. Uh, the arch that goes into the living room. I widened that out from, um, I think, a 30 two or 34 inch doorway to right at four foot and I've done that to just open it up and get a little more light bouncing around and well I live in a small house and I'm just trying to make it look a little more I don't know um, light light you know um, and free-flowing so the doorway that you see right there in the middle with the baby gates um, that's uh, goes down to my basement and the door that you see sitting next to it is a 15 light or 15 panel light panel door that I'm going to put in that hole right there and hopefully the uh, evening sun that you see coming through the coming through the uh, those sliding doors you know will shine and maybe get a little bit of light down there we'll see I, I'm not hoping on but it, at least it lightens things up this uh, it's amazing the difference between the the paneling the dark paneling that was in here and where we're at now so I'm, I'm pretty excited I was I was uh, astonished um, to how yellow the ceilings were. I didn't never really realize that. It's kind of weird, you know. But as soon as uh, as soon as I started painting, well, actually my wife was painting it, and I was looking, and, and I was like, "Holy cow!" And uh, I'll try to throw some pictures of that up. So the only other thing really in the dining room is this light fixture here. Um, my wife wants to replace it. She's got one that's picked out that. Uh, comes up a little closer to the uh, ceiling because that one does hang a little bit low. Um, I'll bang my head on that if I walk under that. But fortunately it's under the dining room table so you know it is what it is. So I'm going to reposition the camera again and I'll show you the um, j just another view. So be right back. Okay so I'm actually standing in the living room. I don't know how much light you can see. Let me try that. I don't know if that helps. So you see the back side of the uh, arch it's uh it's taped and beaded right and but it needs to be finished but there's a lot of uh there's a, a lot of you know nail holes and uh divots and stuff in the living room that um uh, need to be repaired so i'll uh, wait till i'm on the living room for that and then of course you can see more more cabinets and then that's the uh sliding door i was talking about so um uh, so i guess that's really about it i'm gonna end here and We'll follow it up with a slideshow and um, and just one more thing. I want something else to show you. 
and uh, tell me if you guys recognize this. Okay, so this is my, uh, I run Kodi in my house. I don't know if it's K-O-D-I. You can go to Kodi.tv and look at it. But, uh, you know, I, 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 you probably heard me talk about it in some other videos. I have a free NAS system uh, and, and that I store my TV shows and movies and stuff on. And then I distribute it through, you know, to the different devices in the house. But anyway, I found the screensaver and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So, uh, and you guys recognize that? Uh, if so put it down in the comments. All right, so look, I'm uh, going to end this here, and I'll I'll do a slideshow. Again, thank you so much for your patience uh, and your support, folks. You you guys are wonderful, man. That's that's all I can really say about you. You guys are wonderful, and um, thanks for hanging out with me. I, I do really appreciate it. So other than that, have a blessed day.